This is not a video on how to make a cappuccino. This is a video about the... God dang it. Diet Tuesday. Hi guys, welcome back to Try It Tuesday. Today we are trying this portable espresso maker from Tayama. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. There you go. It's all manual, so you don't need any electric plugs or anything. And it says that it is up to 20 bars of pressure so we'll see I read that the um, normal bar of pressure for espressos at a coffee shop is only nine so 20 is a lot hopefully it makes a good espresso because I love cappuccinos like cappuccinos and lattes those are my thing but since I don't have an espresso machine a lot of the time I'll just have um, coffee with a lot of cream okay. or I'll make something a little similar seeing as I do have a coffee or a little bleh. Seeing as I do have a Ninja Coffee Bar, and, but it doesn't quite make espresso. You don't get the crema on top. It's just a different feel and experience. So these parts are all cleaned out and ready to use. And because I have these uh, espresso capsules, we are going to use this attachment. So let me go over the parts with you guys. So it's this heat thing here. It's this little pump thingy. Oh. All right, and this is where you put the water. And it has a glass that everything falls into and the glass is encased in this rubber thing. So if you drop it, you're not gonna break it unless you like drop it on this part for some reason. And then we have this part, which is compatible, compatible, oh my gosh. Which is compatible with um, ground coffee. So that's for this one. And this part here is compatible with and the espresso capsules um this one isn't the actual espresso brand but it says that they are compatible with that machine and these were cheap i got them at my local grocery store i have some just like this on amazon it has the foil bottom and the foil top i got these because i saw on i did watch a youtube video and i saw the guy man, I'm going to try to link his thing be below because I don't even remember. But anyway, yeah, so he was saying that it works better if you have a foil bottom for this machine to pinch through. Otherwise, you'll break your arm trying to get it to work. Okay, so let's give this thing a try. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I watched I watched YouTube videos. It seems pretty self-explanatory. Um, they might come with some directions. Ah! Ah! Well, that's gone. What this is oh, okay. It does come with some directions that I don't even care about apparently. That's why I lost my my capsule. Okay, so first we got our hot water here. This is really hot water. I just got out the microwave. Um we're gonna put that in this thing here. So there is a little max fill line in there if you can see that somewhere up in there. Um so you don't wanna overfill it. Or something bad will happen. I don't know what will happen, but I don't even want to, um, oops, you know. So we're going to put this in here. Yes. Very good. And then, is that leaking? No, it's not. Then we're going to get our little capsule and put it in here. Capsule here. Boom. And push it down. I don't know if you're supposed to push it down, but I just did. And put that in there. This goes on top of here. This goes on top of there. You just twist it, twist it, twist it. See how easy that is? Super easy. So this little spinny thing on top. Oh, guys, I'm so technical. Spinny thing and all. <laughs> so you just twist this up until it pops up like this. And then you push it down until espresso comes out. Oh, and it's already starting to come out. This is nice. And it's... It's, it's easy actually um, it's not that easy to work so on the YouTube video I watched the guy made it seem like it was so hard to push and I'm like oh man I don't know if my little arms are gonna be able to do that like y'all look at these little chicken wings look at these little chicken wings no dance break <laughs> okay and you just push until it gets soft and it stops doing that if you guys hear that noise that's my cat um, tossing the espresso capsule that I dropped around the floor so okay 
And once it's done, you just lift it up. I feel like I should have got napkins for this. And look at that crema, guys. Oh, I'm spilling it. So yeah, there's a, it smells good. And it's crema. Let's give it a try. So I just remembered that, ugh. I actually just remember that I don't like espresso by itself, but that wasn't as, that wasn't really bad. It was really bitter when I tried it, but it wasn't bad. I don't know why I made that face. So what I'm gonna do here is make this espresso like I um, would normally make a cappuccino, because that's what I would use it for anyway. I wouldn't just go around drinking uh, plain espresso. Do I look Italian to you? Do what? <laughs> anyway. So this is my little keep cup. I have this little caramel sauce here, like a pump and a half. I use that for all my coffee, like any kind of coffee I have, I use that. So putting it in this cup, you can see that it still has a little, a small layer of crema, not much, but the transfer definitely left most of the crema in this thing. So we're just gonna wait for this milk to froth, and then we're gonna get a real, real, real live taste of how this is. Um, by the time the crema frosts, this is a, this will be cold though. So that's the only thing about this. Um, I guess I could probably froth the milk beforehand. But I'm gonna pop that in there for like 10 seconds. Boom. That is enough because it was technically already hot. I just didn't want to get away. And still have that layer of cream on there. That layer of crap. Okay. So I have this little milk frother. It's handheld. I got it. Um, deeply discounted with a site called Vipon. I talk about Vipon all the time. Vipon, holla at your girl. Anyway, so this, uh, look at all that froth. So this makes it really frothy, and I don't have to do any handheld frothing. And then I'm just gonna pour that in here. Get all that froth out of there. Get all that froth out of there. Clip and clap the lid. There we go, guys. Caramel cappuccino. Even though for caramel cappuccinos, they actually use vanilla sauce and they put a drizzle of caramel on it. I do have caramel drizzle, but this is not a video on how to make a cappuccino. This is a video about the... God dang it. This is a video about the Tiyama. But if you guys would like a video on a cappuccino, I mean, I'm a girl. Like that is really good. That's really, really good. So I didn't even put sugar in here and that is good. And I know you guys are like, well, you use the syrup. You don't need sugar. If I get my drinks at Starbucks, you better believe I'm still putting cream and sugar in it because Starbucks coffee is so bitter. Now I do drink Starbucks coffee every day because that's what we have at work. But the fact of the matter is if I had the choice, I would drink Dunkin'. <gasps> I wonder if I could convince my bosses to get Dunkin' instead of Starbucks. I'm gonna try that. If you guys are watching, Dunkin'. Mm. So all in all, this is really, really good. Really good. And I am thoroughly impressed with this machine. Not the fact that it's leaking. I should have had a napkin. That's my bad. My bad. I'll accept that. But, oh God, I'm gonna break it already. But yeah, this is a nice, easy machine to use. And if you wanted to, you could um, make two shots of espresso in here. Like this glass is tall enough for a double shot of espresso. And the fact that it comes with a coffee grinder too, I really love that. So this, okay, so I have a napkin. But I don't wanna just talk about all the good things here. I'm not here to rave about the product, I'm here to review it. And so I do wanna talk about some of the cons. Some of the cons being that because it's not an actual machine, and you're using it manually you have to pump so much by the time the espresso gets to the glass it's actually quite warm like it's not hot anymore it's warm so i would like if this was like an insulated stainless steel bottom that would be really great also it's a bit bulky like for me this fits in my purse this is this i fit a lot of stuff in my purse like this would be no big deal it's smaller than my water bottle but for someone who is hiking or camping this is a little bit bulky um, it's not compact like the um, Nanopresso, is that what it is? The little ovular one? I don't know. But it's not compact like that. So, also this glass could break if you hit the glass. Like if you hit the rubber, it's probably not going to break. But 
it's probably not going to fall on the rubber if you drop it. It'll hit the glass. It'll break. So that's one part that. All right. So my camera died for a second. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, outside of it, um, outside of the glass, the cold, and the bulkiness, I really like this product. It is cheaper than an espresso machine. It does exactly what I ask it to do. Um, I am still spilling stuff. I really like, I call this a Try It Tuesday Triumph. This is a great product. I'll have the link in the description below if any of you guys want to check it out. Um, it is only $26, guys. $26 for this. I love it. I do. Cappuccinos all day. Hey, cappuccinos. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't help dancing, guys. I can't help it. Also, 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 also with this machine. One con is that I have to boil or microwave the water. So there is probably a good chance that you won't have hot water if you're hiking so if i'm going to use this outside of the house it'll probably be at someone else's house or at work um i have access to hot water at all those places but if you're out camping and everything you'll have to have your water inside of an insulated uh tumbler if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to something like the nanopresso though this is a really good product i like it a lot my cappuccino like it my keep cup me everybody 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 no sorry yeah so we all like it we all we all me and my many personalities apparently we all like this little machine here because apparently there's more than me i enjoy this little device i will also leave a link to the um, yeah, I'm not gonna get this name right to the Tayama, to the Keep Cup, and to this um, milk frother in my description. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share, watch again, all that stuff. My name's Gail Deshonda, and she tried it. She tried it. Hey, she tried. I'm y'all. I, I can't help it. I just like to dance. I gotta answer my pants like a woman. I'm done. I'm done. Mm.